Okay, let's take a look at something here. Uh, we're going to be looking at comparing allele frequencies of geographically isolated populations. It's a fancy way to say that if a group gets separated from the main crowd, um, because the group is smaller, things start to go kind of weird, and especially with allele frequencies. Uh, there's lots of examples of this. You've heard about inbreeding, right? It's not the most ideal thing, right? A group of a, a family goes off on their own and they decide only to have babies by themselves. And then over many, genera and many generations, you know, their daughters start having babies with their cousins and they start developing weird traits and features and mutations become more common. It's basically the same concept here. If you have a smaller group that's been separated from the main group, this smaller group doesn't have such a wide variety of genes to choose from and so the allele frequencies start shifting or a better word is drifting away from the normal. Uh, so here we go. Geographically isolated populations often have different allele frequencies from the rest of the species. We'll see that the diagram, we'll see a diagram on the right here in a second. Uh, I don't know what this thing is. Anyways, remember that total allele frequency is 1.0. So if I were to say something like 5% of the alleles in this population are of the recessive type, then 1 minus 0.05 would mean 0.95. That means 95% of the remaining alleles will be of the dominant type. So here's an example. If you pretend, pretend that this circle represents the main population and the allele frequency here is 1% um, for this particular gene. So it's a recessive allele. It's the allele that causes the disease cystic fibrosis. You'll learn about that in so many different ways. Anyways, it's the gene called Delta F508 if you're interested in this example. So of all the, this is an interpretation, of all the alleles that exist in a population, only 1% are recessive. However, one group gets isolated, either from living up in the mountains or an, uh, an earthquake separates a particular area or a group moves off to an island and they don't tend to interact with very many, there's not much traveling in and out of this area here. In this isolated group, and this is a real story actually from the Faroe Islands, in the Faroe Islands, the allele frequency for this allele that causes cystic fibrosis is actually 4%. That's significantly higher than the main population. So people living in the Faroe Islands have a higher tendency to develop cystic fibrosis. And there could be many reasons for this. Um, the best explanation, sorry about the background noise here, is random drift. And the best way to say random drift is because there's so few, it's a smaller population around this area here, um, different random behaviors now count more for contributing to the total uh, the total groups frequencies so often they're just referred to as random changes in allele frequency some individuals just randomly produce more offspring and that matters more when the group is small because that individual's contribution to that group is going to be much larger so let's go back to the title see if that made sense comparison of allele frequencies of geographically isolated populations so in conclusion geographically isolated groups like those of the Faroe Islands tend to have allele frequencies that are significantly different from the main population and in a case of something like this which is considered kind of a a negatively affecting uh, allele it can actually exacerbate problems so other conclusion or bottom line is don't do inbreeding with your family.